Hi and welcome back to Freedu Hub. Today I'll show you how can we exploit FTP on Metasploit 2. And uh, as you can see, I'm running Metasploit 2 on my virtual machine, which is VMware Workstation 17. And if you don't know what is Metasploit 2, Metasploit uh, uh, 2 is a intentionally vulnerable Linux virtual machine. This virtual machine can be used to conduct security training, test and security tools and practice, practice common uh, vulnerabilities and penetration testing techniques. So you can download it free from the internet. And uh, if you want to download it, you can go to SourceForge and search for Metasploitable files and you'll be able to download it from here. It's 86, 865 MB of file and then you can import it in your VMware Workstation Professional. Now first of all, it is an educational course so whatever I'm teaching is for academic purposes. Kindly don't try it on the machines for which you don't have written explicit permission to perform these operations. Now, uh, for the sake of uh, access and understanding, I have mentioned the IP addresses over here, like this is our Kali Linux machine, and this is our Metasploitable 2. And if you want to find the IP address of the machines, um, you'll go to your uh, terminal window, make sure that you are logged in as the super user account. Uh, once you're logged in, here also I have logged in to um, the super user account and uh, just to verify the IP address you will type uh, if config and uh, press enter you can see the IP address for this one it is 34 as you can see 192.168.189.134 whereas for our Kali Linux I'll type in if config and I'll uh, get the IP address here it's 128 so if I'll try to ping um, this uh, Metasploit machine 192.168.189.134 I must receive a response that my Kali Linux can see Metasploitable 2. Same uh, if I'll ping it uh, from my Metasploit uh, 192, 192.168.189.128 I must get a reply from there as well. It means that both machines are talking to each other so I'll come here I'll stop the ping and for Metasploitable 2 also I'll um, stop the ping over here now we need to launch an attack for FTP which is running on Metasploitable 2 and we'll try to compromise it through our Kali Linux machine so let's see how can we do that now the first thing we need to do is we need to find all the computers which are there available on our network and uh, what are the MAC addresses and what are the services running on it. So in order to do that I'll type in command net discover and it would search for all the machines which are available on my network. So as you can see it is scanning all the computers. Now as you can see it identified uh, this computer 134 which we want to target actually and one is the router on our network. So our target would be this machine which is Metasploitable 2. So in order to stop it we press Ctrl C over here and that would stop the scan for the time being. Now since we are targeting FTP and we know that FTP performs on port 21 so we'll use nmap in order to scan our target so we'll type in nmap and then we'll give the IP address of our target which is 192.168.189.134 and after that we'll use minus v now minus v means it's a verbose it will have a detailed scan of the n map so that we can see that what are the operations that it's performing then we'll use minus small and capital t it would tell us about the scan type that we are going to scan for tcp and then after that i'll type in uh, minus s and v that would tell us about the version details of the open ports etc and then I'm going to enter minus P which is port and then we'll define 21 and we can also give minus O over here that would tell us about the operating system details which are available on our remote target once that's done press enter and it would select or it would find the details about the target now as you can see that it has completed the scan 
So if we'll try to understand the complete scan and the report of it, it is saying that started Nmap version, it gave the details for that. Um, then it checked for the ports available on the uh, machine, it got all the details for that. And then it, uh, since we asked it to check for port number 21, and as you can see it has highlighted that port 21 TCP is open and VSFTPD version 2.3.4 is used on this machine. Further, since we uh, provided a flag of minus O, it even gave us the details of the Linux operating system over here. And it is telling that um, the version of the Linux operating so system could be in between this thing. And uh, so now we have all the details about the target that the operating system which is being used on it and the TCP, um, the FTP version is there, which is uh, um, uh, VSFTPD uh, 2.3.4, and we can even see that the port is open. Now we'll try to get some more details, and it would uh, we'll try to penetrate in the system that how can we uh, take control of Metasploitable 2 um, in order to uh, run different operations using this software. Now that's identified. What we want to do is that we'll use the Nmap scripts, which are uh, built-in scripts for FTP as a payload to check that if those scripts can help us out or not. So in order to do that, I'll type in Nmap again, and then I'll type in the IP address of the uh, remote target machine. I'll type in minus V, again, minus ST, and the service name. Then I'll enter the port number 21, and instead of operating system, since now we are aware of the operating system, um, I'll use the script which is available with the uh, Nmap and I'll search for FTP over there that if there are any scripts available with Nmap which uh, are related to FTP if they can help us in penetrating in the system. So let's see what's the output of it. So now it is trying to scan the remote computer. It found the script for FTP and it's trying different things on Metasploitable 2 and see if it can penetrate in that or not. Now we have received the output. You'll have to give it some time. As you can see that it took around about uh, um, 10 minutes on my PC just to get the output. It really depends that uh, um, how uh, deep is the stack. So let's try to understand the report that we have received. First of all, it's telling us that uh, port 21 is open, FTP, and it's using VSFTP version 2.3.4. We knew it earlier. Then it's saying that it is FTP vs FTP backdoor vulnerability um, is found on this one which is exploitable and it's even giving you the CVE uh, result of it or the record number of it. If you want to find the uh, CVE number you can go to CVE uh, MyTray website and you'll be able to find the exact uh, uh, detail of it on their databases. As you can see, once I entered the details as it is, 2011-2523, uh, it showed me a result. And if I'll click on it, I'll be able to get all the details of this particular exploit. Uh, but we'll try to read um, other things in this one. So uh, it is even telling that when this exploit was discovered, exploit results are over here. Um, then it's giving the some websites that you can get some access from there. And then this thing is very important that it is telling that anonymous FTP login is allowed on this particular system. If we uh, scroll down, it would tell us that it used a brute force attack on it, on the accounts, and it found an account which is user, and the username is user, which is a valid credential. So that's a quite a lot useful information on this one with the help of which now we can penetrate in this particular system. Now our next step shall be that how can we connect to this port 21. Now there are a number of ways but if you remember we covered a video on Netcat so let's try to use it over here and see if Netcat can help us in logging into the system. So in order to use Netcat you'll type NC over here for Netcat and then you'll see minus V for Verberos and you'll provide the IP address of the target machine 192.168.189 dot one three four and then we'll try to give the port on which we want to uh, communicate on this uh, remote machine since it's FTP it's communicating on port 21 and we'll press enter 
So now it's trying to log in to the uh, system and see that if it allows us to uh, communicate with the FTP server or not. So if you remember, it showed us over here that anonymous login is allowed on this machine. Right over here, anonymous FTP login allowed. So we'll try to exploit this vulnerability over here as uh, anonymous and uh, it would ask for a password and we'll try to exploit the um, password which is us usually used on an anonymous account as anonymous anonymous so i'll try to type in that anonymous and see if we are able to log in as you can see that we have successfully logged in because that's the known vulnerability on the system that it is still allowing the users to log into the system with the default uh, username and passwords or the um, anonymous account which is available on uh, port 21 now once that's done let's try to cancel it and let's try to run the same command again and this time let's try to enter the user user as user and let's try to enter the password as user as well so as you can see that worked also so there was a problem in misconfiguration and there was a problem with the default accounts which is available on this specific ftp account so now let's try to exploit it as you know that the ftp that it is using over here is vs ftpd in order to find the exploit for that we can go to exploit database and uh, on this one we'll type here vsftpd and we'll search it and as you can see that it has identified that it has a uh, unix uh, uh, platform on which it was compromised and it has a version and backdoor uh, command execution was possible on that as well so if you want to open it you'll click on this one and it will tell us more details about this exploit and even it's telling us the um, script that we can use in order to exploit this uh, specific uh, uh, vulnerability which is identified on uh, the uh, remote machine so um, if you want to use this exploit which is shown over here and it is uh, written in python uh, you'll download it on your machine and uh, then we'll try to use it on our uh, Kali Linux. Now, once the file is downloaded, as you can see, it's available over here. We can uh, rename it or we can copy the name of it from here so that we can paste it later and uh, execute it in our terminal window. So let's try to copy the name. And uh, uh, then uh, what we need to do is we'll right click over here and click open in terminal. Now we'll open it in terminal and now uh, we'll need to pass the command for sudo su just to make sure that we have the root access on this one. Now we'll type in ls to see the file and as you can see it's listed over here. Now we'll use python3 over here so we'll type python3 and then we'll put the name of the file which we copied earlier which is this one and then we'll put the ip address which is 192.168.189.134 so let's try to execute it and as you can see it is shown that it has successfully gained the access to the shell so now we can easily exploit it now if you want to see that if we have successfully penetrated or not so I'll type ls and as you can see I'm able to get the details of my meta exploitable know the IP address of the uh, meta exploitable 2 I must get the IP address as 134 so I'll type if config and as you can see over here that we have successfully penetrated in the remote machine. Now, as you can see, I'm logged into my Kali and I'm logged into my uh, Metasploitable 2. Uh, though I'm logged in as a root user account, it is not notifying me that uh, there is a penetration or anything like that happened on this operating system. So in order to see it in practice, let's try to pass in a command of reboot. And uh, you can see that now our remote machine is restarting, which is Meta Exploitable 2. And that shows that how can you uh, completely take control of a remote machine uh, uh, which is running an FTP due to the vulnerabilities which are available on the system. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.